a midnight deadline passed. At first light, riot police moved in to put an end to a sit-in that had paralysed Pakistan's capital for nearly three weeks. Police fired rubber bullets and lobbed tear gas to clear protesters. They hurled back rocks. A bloody result of failed negotiations. The hardline Tariq A. Lebek party is demanding the resignation of Pakistan's law minister, Zahid Hamid, for making an electoral oath it says amounts to blasphemy. The law minister is the mastermind and draftsman of the recently omitted reference to the Prophet Muhammad. Today we had a council meeting. The council decided we can sacrifice our lives but will not step back. The government has resisted their demands, saying it was a clerical error which was quickly reversed. In response, protesters took control of Faisabad Interchange, a vital transport junction, and blocked the main highway. After failed negotiations and a series of deadlines lapsed, more than 8,000 soldiers were sent in to clear 2,000 demonstrators. Dozens of people have been detained and more than 50 others hospitalised. It is good action by the government to start the operation against these protesters. At least now the roads will open. We were facing problems because public transport was closed. But in solidarity, protests have also broken out in other Pakistani cities. And with the government trying to avoid deaths to resolve the stalemate, it might have to make a compromise. Liz Maddock, TRT World.